Greetings ladies and gentlemen, hope you are fine. This is mathematics. In this lesson, we want to look at uh, these two questions coming from 2023 examinations. One is from the GCE part, which is General Certificate of Education. Then the other one is from the internal grade 12 examination. We start with the GCE, 2023 GCE, paper one question 12a. Solve the equation 5 raised to the power negative 3x is equal to 125. Well, we are told to do what? To solve the equation. The first thing that should come into your mind is to identify the type of equation that you've been given 5 to the power negative 3x is equal to 125 what type of equation is this remember ladies and gentlemen we have different types of equations we have what we call linear equations we have exponential equations we have quadratic equations we have cubic equations, we, have ex we also have trigonometric equations, and so many equations. Now, which type is this? We are going to copy, first of all, so let's say solution here. So we have 5 raised to the power negative 3x is equal to 125. Ladies and gentlemen, this is coming from exponential equations under the topic called indices or index notation. Yes. So, I'm encouraging you students to make sure you understand all the types and how they look so that when you are given a quadratic equation you are able to know that this is quadratic this is trigonometric this is linear okay why is it important you'll be able to apply the correct method so now that I know that this is coming from exponential the method the common methods that we use under exponential are one making sure that the bases on both sides are the same. That is the first method. If the given equation cannot be expressed in that form, if you can't make both sides or bases the same, then the next method will be used, which is substitution. In this case, I have 5 here as a base. On the other side here, 125. Is it possible to turn 125 in the base of 5? The answer is yes. How? Well, 5 to the power negative 3x. And look at the way I'm writing, please. It is not 5. It is not like this. This is wrong. Write the way you are seeing the question. Don't want something that is not there. It is not correct because you are going to get the wrong answer at the end. So, 5 to the power negative 3x is equal to 125. Can I write 125 with the base 5? Yes. What would be that? 5 to the power 3. Have you seen that? 5 to the power 3 is 125 because 5 times 5 times 5 will give me 125. This one is 25 times 5 which will give us 125. Have you seen that? Next step. Bases are the same. 5, 5. You are now going to ignore the bases. Ignore the bases equate the powers so the power here is negative 3 x is equal to 
power here is 3. Now it is linear at this point. It means we are going to find one value of x. To remain with x, divide by negative 3 because we don't need negative 3. Also on the other side, same, negative 3. Cancel this. You remain with x is equal to 3 into 3 is 1. There is a negative here, remember, put a negative. So this is the correct answer. x is equal to negative 1. So the two marks will be able to give you the method mark 1 here and also answer mark 1. You get your two marks. Because omission of essential working will result in loss of marks. Are we together? We move on. 2023, grade 12. Paper 1, this was question number 5. Given that OP, vector OP, is equal to 4 in column form, 4, 13, and the point Q is 16,8. Find the magnitude or the modulus of the vector PQ. Solution. Well, this question is coming from a topic called vectors in two dimensions. We are told that the vector OP, OP, it means position vectors. So what you need to do is to come up with like a triangle, okay? Draw a triangle and put these variables or letters that you're seeing here. So we have O, got O here, P, Q. If you are given AB, use AB. Don't say, Mr. Galunga was just using PQ, PQ. They are for every PQ. Any letter can be used. So now we have OPQ. Let's now gather information. Our data here. Okay, our data here. We have OP, vector OP, which is equal to 4, 13. Okay? The point Q, it means OQ, because they are position vectors. So OQ is equal to 16, 8. I can write it in this form. 16 here, 8 down, like this. It's a same thing. We want PQ. So this diagram here will help us get PQ. Remember, for you to find the modulus or the magnitude of the vector PQ, the first thing that you need to find is the vector PQ. So we are going to find PQ first, then the magnitude. Okay? The lines here, these two, means magnitude or size of the vector PQ. Well, let's come here. We want PQ. How are we going to move? So we're going to say PQ will be equal to from P to Q. We are here. P to Q. So it will be in this direction. How are you going to move? So from P to Q, you're going to say P O. So P O plus O Q. O Q. Like this. That is the movement. What next? Substitute. PQ will be equal to what is our PO? Go back to the data. We have OP. Therefore, PO is opposite. Since OP is 4, 13, therefore, PO will be these are negative these are positives here positive 4 so the opposite will be negative 4 so you have negative 4 positive 13 opposite will be negative 13 do not swap them don't if this was negative opposite could have been positive this is what we have Plus, OQ, OQ, no change. It's the same. 
16 8 like this then we are going to find the answer to this we're going to say pq will be equal to negative 4 plus 16 what to be the answer negative 4 so we have negative 4 here plus 16 this will give us positive what 12 so we have positive 12 here negative 13 plus 8 negative 13 plus 8 this will give us 5 negative I see that to give us negative 5 so that is the one that we are going to write here so what we have calculated here is uh, the vector pq now we are told to find the magnitude it has got this i see that we are told to find the magnitude so now we are going to say therefore the magnitude of pq will be the way we find magnitude it has a formula so if right square root square this okay the formula basically is whenever you're finding the magnitude you should know that uh, for example pq it should be like this x squared plus y squared so our x is this one y is this one so you're going to substitute in there so when we substitute we are going to have 12 uh, put in brackets whenever you are substituting. So I've got 12 squared plus this one is negative 5 squared. Squared like that. Further, we are going to say PQ magnitude will be equal to square root. What is 12 squared? That is 12 times 12. And that will be 144. Plus here it's negative 5 squared, meaning negative 5 times negative 5. That will give us 25. So we have 25 here. So PQ magnitude will be equal to square root 144 plus, one, plus 25 will give us 169. And our final answer will now be magnitude square root of 169 you get the positive number this will be 13 so you're going to say 13 units units like this and that is now our final answer for this question would you like to learn more well you need to join our reliable online classes through WhatsApp. Subjects available are English. So we've got one English language. We also have mathematics. We have science, which is physics, chemistry. And we also have biology. Okay? Those who are taking additional mathematics, it's also available. And A levels, the first years, second years, third years are also welcome and there is a part for them the a levels mathematics not only that junior secondary grade eight and nine is also available at an affordable fee all these are at an affordable fee join us now give me a call or whatsapp me on zero seven 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 four four eight four four zero this is the whatsapp number that you're supposed to use the price will be given to you and you will be added immediately upon payment thank you very much ladies and gentlemen for watching remember to share the video so that others can also learn Again, you'll be able to receive well presented videos exercise are also given in our groups not only that pamphlets are given 
what else the test notes everything is given all right thank you very much for watching